Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Virtual Desktop. Now for those of you that own a DK2 or a DK1, you know that taking the Rift on and off to switch games becomes kind of a pain in the ass. This solves that problem and much more. This essentially lets you use your desktop while in the Rift. As you can see, you got your start bar here. You can pretty much do anything you can do on a monitor in the Rift, which is quite amazing. It's something that should have been done with the Rift to begin with. Luckily, this developer created this a while back. There is tons of settings. You can change the distance of the screen to your face if you want it closer or farther away. Let's set it right there. Well, that's the screen size and the distance. There's some different options here. You can make it a flat screen in front of you, which I, I prefer the curved screen. It gives it a more of a 3D feel. If you have multiple monitors, you can show all your monitors, so they'll be stacked along you, which is really nice. You can change the screen location, so if you want to lean back and watch a movie, you can put it up above you. You can have a transparent background. As you can see, you can see the nebula that I have behind me, behind my desktop, which is nice. You can change the different backgrounds. You have the purple nebula. You've got a star field, which is very cool. I really wish that maybe they would have some type of custom background but that is not in here yet there's also a home theater for watching movies which it puts the screen flat in front of you and you're sitting in this nice little home cozy theater which is really cool because you're already sitting in a chair gives you that sense of presence would be nice if there was a body but it's really nice for watching movies let's go ahead and switch back here though Turn transparent off. You can change your settings here. Virtual sync, I disabled it because I get some judder while using it. And some other settings here. The full screen mode works for the desktop. It will get rid of some of the judder, but it does not work when you're playing games, so you want to leave that disabled most of the time. There is some side by side content viewing. I don't have any side by side material to show you, but this will allow you to view uh, 3D movies and things like that. Now there is a video player which you can play movies directly which kind of warps them around your face which I don't really like I'd rather just watch the video normally on the screen and there is games now you don't have to use this at all you can launch any game that you have on your computer or any rift game but this kind of allows you for quick access you can right click here and launch the games directly so let's go ahead and close this out and show you what you can do here let's go ahead and open chrome now I'm in the rift normally you would have to take your rift off to go check out a web page or find another game no more do you have to do that you can search on VR share search any web page you want pretty much anything you could do on your desktop you can do here you can go to YouTube and watch YouTube videos go ahead and mute that you can put them in full screen and play them and watch them, which is really nice. You can lean back and watch whatever movies you want or whatever videos you want. You can even, if you want to go to Hulu or whatever streaming website you prefer, you can watch movies like that. Or you can play in-game uh, games, in-browser games like Clicker Heroes. If you haven't played this game, I recommend checking it out if you like something that's addictive. But anyway, let's go ahead and minimize that down. Now, I left the transparent off because I planned on playing a game. Normally, I would leave it on so you can just see the field behind you. Now, what's great about this, if you want to play multiple Rift games, you don't have to take your Rift off. You can just automatically jump into whichever ones you want. Let's just go ahead and turn my controller on before we start here. Alrighty, so... Let's check out some Dread Halls. Now as you can see, instantly it pops the game up. I did not have to take my Rift off, and the game is ready to go. Now if you haven't played Dread Halls, I definitely recommend this one. This is a really good horror game. Definitely has good replay value. Has some really neat mechanics. As you can see, everything works just like it would if you weren't using Virtual Desktop, which is very cool. And that is taking forever to open. There we go. 
Now this game is really freaky. I'm not going to play through it. I just wanted to show that you could actually play Rift games. Let's go ahead and hit escape. And hit escape again. Now we're back to our desktop. Now you can launch another Rift game or you can launch any game on your computer pretty much. The only thing about playing regular games you need to set them in window mode or window borderless mode for this to work which most games have windows mode and window borderless mode is the preferred option so let's go ahead and launch up some Dragon Age Inquisition now if you haven't played this game either I definitely recommend it if you're a Dragon Age fan you should go pick it up it is a lot better than Dragon Age 2 I was really disappointed with Dragon Age 2 it kind of brings back some of the basics of Dragon Age 1 or Origins and adds a whole lot of new shit. Unfortunately, it takes a little time to load this game, especially since I'm playing it in the Rift, which kind of taxes the system a little bit. I did have to lower my settings down to high from Ultra so that it wouldn't lag, which normally on a monitor it doesn't lag. There, So there is that problem. So as you can see, once the game loads up, it is in a window in front of you, kind of wrapped around. You can make it flat, like I showed you before in the settings. And you can pull it away from you or closer to you so that maybe you feel a little bit more in the game. So let's go up here and kill a couple things. We are going to attack you. Come over here, lightning your ass. Is there another guy? I cannot reach him. So we will. Oh, well, you done used your spells, you bastard. All right, we'll just teleport over there and let's watch what happens here. Alright, as you can see in Dragon Age Inquisition, you can kind of pause everything. Now, I know this isn't a review for this game. I just wanted to show that you can actually play regular regular games in the Rift, which is quite amazing. It's, it's really cool. It's not something you can normally do. So this is a really cool feature. But anyway, let's go ahead and just go ahead and close this out. I don't want this to be about Dragon Age. So guys, as you can see, you can pretty much do everything that you could do normally on a monitor within the Rift now using a virtual desktop. I definitely recommend this if you have a DK2. It will work with a DK1, but it is kind of hard to read things because of the low resolution, but it will still work, so it is still uh, an, an advantage to use it. Especially if you just want to sit back and watch a movie in the Rift, you know, you get a big screen in front of you, a lot better than just watching it on a monitor. But anyway, guys, as always, I will leave links below for this. If you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post those below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.